Hi, John Capobianco here with some really, really cool bleeding edge stuff. I know it's bleeding edge because I wrote it. So when I was first introduced to the Gemini CLI, after a few hours, after incorporating MCPs, in particular incorporating MCPs, in particular Slack, I thought, wouldn't, wouldn't it be neat if I could listen in my Gemini CLI? Listen to a, a, you know an open port for incoming webhooks or incoming events or curl or really can I turn the Gemini CLI into a server of sorts, a listener? So let's take a look at how this is done. Did you know that you can make your own slash commands? Using that power, I've made my own slash command slash listen with a start, stop, and status. Once you start it, it's a listener, and we can now send things to Gemini, which means from Slack, we can send things to Gemini. Anyway, check this out. So I mentioned we can make our own CLI commands. I would read this documentation, and if you scroll down, there's all the built-in slash commands, but custom commands. And they give you a quick example here on how to make your own command, your own slash command. Now I'll come back to this repository in a second, but what I've done is inside of my .gemini folder, I've added two new folders, a commands with a listen subfolder, the name of my slash command, and a start status and stop toml file. I also added a scripts with a listen.js. So the start, as you would guess it, starts the server. Status checks on the server. Stop stops the server. The listen does quite a bit of things. It actually listens and will handle things like Slack and curl and other incoming messages. All right, so let's check this out as it actually works. So the first thing I, you're going to need or want to do is run an ngrok. Right, so install ngrok and run ngrok http uh, 8765, just a random port number that we picked, and that will get you exposed on the internet. The next thing we want to do is just run Gemini. All right. Now check this out. If I do slash listen, there's now three options here. And if I do status, let's check on the status and allow this. And I noticed that in YOLO mode, if Google happens to be watching, YOLO mode should cover the slash commands as well um, because it does not right now. So it's not running. All right. So if I do slash listen start and allow that, we're now listening. And if I do that same listen status now, we're going to see that we are listening and running the PID. All right. Pretty cool stuff, right? So what does this mean we can do? Well, let's first do a curl, all right? And so we're gonna do a curl that says, this is a test message from curl to Gemini CLI. If you are really Gemini CLI, please respond with a message that yes, you are really the Gemini CLI and a pleasant haiku for the tester. Enter. And we're listening for this now. And in just a second, we're going to get a haiku answer back indicating that, yes, we are talking to the Gemini CLI, right? So a test event was received from a curl command. This message requests confirmation of my identity as Gemini CLI and a haiku. Proposed actions, acknowledge and fulfill and log. And then here it is. Yes, I am the Gemini CLI. Code flows like a stream. The network breathes, packets fly, silent, I observe. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool, right? A listener. So then what I can do is add my bot. So in Slack, you can add slash commands, just like we just did in the CLI. So I can do slash Gemini and just say, can I get a greeting back? from Gemini CLI to confirm this works. Give me a tech haiku. So now it's working on it. 
and I should get a haiku back that's visible to everyone in the room. Hello at John C. Greetings from the Gemini CLI. Bits flow on the wire. Silence swift, a hidden world. Data finds its way. Now, let me blow your mind a little bit more. Let's go a little further. So what I'm going to do is listen, stop, and stop the server. And we're going to quit. And I'm going to change directories into my packet analysis directory, which has what? It has packets in it. So now if I start Gemini, I am a server that it will have access to slash listen, start, always allow. I should be able to in theory, and let's do it from curl. And I'm just going to change the message. Oh, hang on. Let me do it another way. Let me do it another way. Let me get the curl command from my readme. And we're going to make a, a new command here. So we're just going to change this to say, watch this. Give me a second here. You should have a local file called capture.pcap. Can you run a quick L2, L3, L4 analysis? Perfect. Do I need the info? Hang on. I'm a little lost in what I copied out. No, it just ends. I don't need the info. I didn't think so. Yeah, okay. So let's take that new curl. All right, so check it out. Now, what am I doing here? What is the special thing here, John? Well, if I do slash MCP, I have the packet copilot MCP locally. So this question, actually, let me cancel this real quick and start again using the packet copilot. Let's add that. All right. Now let's go ahead and jump over to Slack and try the same thing. Slash Gemini. Can't, um, you should have access to a local file called dhcp.pcap. Can you use the packet copilot MCP tools and provide me a an analysis and summary report? I'm working on it. Now, this is gonna take a little bit of time. I need you to be patient here um, because there's quite a bit happening behind the scenes. Um, but if we just wait, and I'll come back to that in a couple of seconds, this one should come back first. This Gemini has MCP tools, okay? And we basically expose the tools through Gemini CLI through the slash listen. All right, now I think there is a log file we might be able to find somewhere. Uh, but for now, let's just um, be patient and we should get back a PCAP analysis relatively quickly. There we go. Well, pretty close here. A webhook has been received from performing on PCAP using... the new session ID and everything. So I didn't actually get the PCAP data back. Let's see if Slack's doing any better working on it. I want to try that again. Tell me what you find using. Let me try that again.
see, it's close. It's doing it. It's doing it, but it's not actually providing me the analysis. What would you like to do next? Like another analyze, another capture. Analysis is complete. Summary provided. So the summary's been lost somewhere uh, in the logs or in the translation here. Um, slash Gemini. And it, it's a one shot, so I don't think I have that session available to me. Um, you have a local file called phcp.pcap. Can you analyze the file using packet copilot and provide me the summary analysis? Do not return me the steps involved. Just provide the output of the analysis. Let's just try it. Let's just try it. And again, it's going to need a little bit more time. And let's see what's happening here. It's actually doing it. So it's just being lost somewhere. Let's try this again. And I'm going to say, do not provide me the steps or details of what you are doing. Sorry about that. Um, just pass the user along the summary output. So while those things churn, I want to show you how to do this. And I have made a readme file. It really is quite simple. Does it work as a mind map? Kind of. I didn't nest it properly. All right, forget it. So you're going to clone the repo. Um, you are going to move these two folders into your .gemini. And that's it. You, you have slash listen, start, stop, status. You do the ngrok out, the port, and you can start doing curls, and then you can add things with the slack, with the slash command at your own. Uh, so let's see here. Aha, aha, here we go. Check it out. All right. So here's the analysis of the provided capture, and this is a four four packet DHCP flow. And there is all the information right in Slack using the MCP for the packet copilot. And we could invoke many more Slack, uh, MCPs, but this is what I'm talking about. A coworker slash Gemini. Hey, can you look at that PCAP for me? And there's the analysis, right? Really remarkable stuff. Here's the get repo. It's called Gemini CLI underscore slash underscore listen. Please give it a star. Please fork it. And let's see what the CLI is going to do with a little bit more instruction, a little bit more prompting. Uh, we should get an analysis back of that single packet. And again, if I do slash listen status, right, we're going to see that it's still listening here and we're all good. So we're just going to let this answer. Um, there we go. Yeah, and here is the right the ports, the source, layer 2, layer 3, layer 4 information from the PCAP. All from my Gemini server that we are now using slash listen to expose ports on. Is that not the coolest thing? I got up really early today and I just... I just hammered this out. I did some vibe coding, did a lot of testing, a lot of errors. Really wasn't that much friction once I got the sort of basics down and found the documentation, of course. That always helps. So, get clone, move the two folders into your .gemini. Now you can slash listen, and grok out that port, start incorporating it into external tools. 
Uh, thank you so much to everyone who's encouraged me to pursue this. I've mentioned this idea to a few people, and they they were all like, yeah, that would be awesome. That would be really cool. So I, uh, I figured it out, and, and that's my contribution to the Gemini CLI so far. Maybe it will make it into the product. That would be pretty cool. All right, we'll see you soon. Take care. Have fun uh, with your Gemini CLI server.